Right guys, I'm back again with another little video because everyone, well not everyone, but quite a few people have been asking us if I'll make a new video of my new car, so this is it. My last one, I'm not sure if you have seen it, if you haven't, but I appreciate it, I've had quite a few views on it, I think I've had something like 12,000, which I wasn't really expecting because the only reason I put the video up was because I was selling the car. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly show you around this car what I've got and I'm going to tell you some ups and some downs. Um, it's an Audi S3. It's basically an A3 on steroids. It's got four-wheel drive. They say it's permanent four-wheel drive, but it's not. It's more like front wheel, and it ends up being four-wheel drive when it when it knows you in a sticky situation, should we say. The engine, it's a two-litre, it's a TFSI, it's 265 brake. This one's been remapped off Revo, and it's running roughly 300 brake. The, the colour is uh, sprint blue. That's what colour it is. It comes in these, and it comes in the RS4s, and it comes in the, the S4s. Just, just go around the car. 18 inch alloys. I think the, I think the 225 40 18s. I think, yeah, there are 225 40 18s. The alloys. I think the alloys are Speedline. I think that's what make they are. These have been. It's like a matte finish on them. It's a titanium, satin titanium. I think it's called. It's got your chrome wing mirrors. I think I think every single one of them comes with these. On the old one, it was an optional extra, but now I think it's just the it's just the norm. It's got xenon headlights. This little thing comes up and it squirts them. It has to have them when you've got xenons. The grill was chrome, but I didn't like the chrome, so I've plasti dipped it black. There's the there's the finish on it. I'm I'm thinking about doing the bottom lip, but I'm not hundred percent. I'm I'm gonna see what people say. One thing I do want, I want one of these, I want a blue one of these. I tried colouring in but it just didn't last, so I need to buy one. I've been to a few shops and they just don't seem to sell them. It's got, it's got fog lights on the front, obviously. It's a little bit lower than, a, than say, a normal A3. Um, go around the back, it's got a little stubby aerial on the top there. Not your usual massive long aerial. On the back it's pretty, pretty basic. One thing I don't like are these these rings, these black rings. I did have black rings on the front and I took them off. These I'm going to have to buy some more from Audi and put them back chrome. The exhaust is chrome. I don't know if it's a make or anything like that. There's your rear valance. It's got rear parking sensors. As you can see there, that's, that's what they are. To get into the boot, on your remote, you've got the key. If you hold the button, that'll open the boot. The only thing I've got in the in the boot is me is me drying towel. When I wash the car, I always take it out because there's there's bits that come from everywhere. That's pretty pretty basic in here. It's got this this little thing like a like a net there. See the see the net? What, what comes up? That must I don't know what that's for. I don't know if it's for the sun or something. But to be honest, the the rear windows are tinted on the back anyway. So six and two threes. Quickly pop the bonnet. Pop the bonnet. It's just down here, up there. Boom. Basically, if you go in the middle where the badge is, put your hand up. You'll feel it. Just pull it up, and then that's it. The engine's sort of clean, but the the colour is sort of like sort of gone. It's discarded. I'm gonna see me mate, um, Adam. He'll he'll sort it out. He's the man for that because he's a detailer. As you can see, all over here, it's just all, it's all horrible. If I do that, that's what it should look like. It should all be black. Got your fuse box, your battery, your usual bits and bobs. Let's see your engine. One thing I did want to do, I wanted to colour these in because these are a, these are a bit, bit gone over the years. It's a seven-year-old car, so it's going to have tiny little bits of, bits of wear here, there, and everywhere. Drop the bonnet. Drop, drop, drop from about there. Shut. You look inside, it's got your chrome pedals. The thing with these seats, what's well, pretty shit, they're not electric. On my last S3, my old one, this one's called an AP, the last one's an 8L, it had electric seats. They're heated, but it hasn't even got a Lumard support, what goes here, for obviously for your back. It's got your adjuster for to move your back. In the back, you've got three seats. 
um, what can I show you in the front? It's got Bose sound system. To be honest, I think they've all got Bose sound system. It's got like your brushed aluminium finish. Your electric windows for both sides. It's got your electric mirrors, heated mirrors. That's the one in the middle there. If you look inside, it's got the RNSE head unit, which I don't like. It's got your ESP there for your traction control. It's got your heaters and everything down there. Um, your heated seats on the left and the right, obviously your front and your rear heated window. It's got an armrest here, what you can just put up if you want, but to reduce the armrest, if you've got it all the way down there, say you wanted it here, and then you push down again and it locks into place. In here, hidden away, is a little cup holder. In that one, I don't know what the hell that one is, it's a little small one, but it's, it's crap. Get that, put that back down, I'll just leave it about there. I'm gonna jump in the car because that 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 woman will think I'm talking to myself. As you can see, she's over there. She's a smoker. She's a nasty smoker. Back to this. It's a six-speed manual. One thing I don't like that when I take my handbrake off and I've got me my phone on charge, the wires like under here, and it's it's just it's it's horrible. I don't like it at all. To adjust your vents. If you turn them that way, that locks them. If you turn it that way, that opens them. You can move them left, right, up, down. You've got your mirror, what dims. You've got your interior lights. If I turn them on, they're, they're more like an LED sort of style. Over here, if you open that, the glove box, you've got a 6 CD multi-changer. There's my bottle of water and my phone charger and some CDs over there. Not that anyone uses CDs anymore. Over this side, You've got to open your doors or you've got to lock your doors. Down here, you've got for your mirrors. I don't know if you can see that. In the middle there, that one's for your heated mirrors. That one's for your windows to make them go up and down. Over here, you've got obviously your indicators. Over here, you've got for your, your, your windscreen wipers. But if you want, behind the back of this, there's like a sensor. And it works out if it's day or night or if it's raining. That's what... If you set this, it'll make your windscreen wipe as wipe for you. Um, I've got the multifunction steering wheel, the flat bottom, what everyone seems to go for. The one on the left here that adjusts your tracks or if you're on a radio station. I'm not sure what mode does. I'm not sure what that does. That's your volume. If you go over here, you press this button. When you lock the doors, the lights will stay on for so long. I think this, this one here, when you adjust that, then you can put it on one. Maybe that turns it to like a minute. But zero, I don't know, because it, it lasts for about a half a minute. Th this one, that adjusts your brightness of your dials on here and all around here on a night time. You've got your lights here. I'll just leave mine on auto. If you want your fog lights, you go there and you pull them out. Um, I'll, st I'll, start the, I'll start the car up. That woman's giving us funny, funny looks. Just thinking, what the fuck's he doing? Where's my me, where's me keys? Right, I've got my keys. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Put the key in, put the key in. Turn it. One thing you've got to press the clutch. So I press the clutch and we're up, we started. On the left hand side there, that's for your revs. You've got that one on the top left up here. That one's for your temperature. That one's your petrol gauge. This one's your miles. Tells us there it's loading the MP3. Obviously, down there, your trip computer, how many miles is on the car. That's how long the car's been running. I'll turn that down a little bit because I'll probably get done for copyright. Bit Bob Marley, Rainbow Country. If you press this button, it opens that. In here, one stupid thing, if I press eject, because it says DVD, I presumed it was a DVD player, you press eject, nothing happens. I've been on the internet and I've read, uh, well, I'm trying to say two things at once, I've read, you've got to go to Audi and unlock that, because when these, when these first come, people are pinching the DVDs out here, the sat nav ones, so that's why they've locked it. But it doesn't even play DVDs, it does nothing like that. Obviously here you've got your two SD cards. One thing I will say, you'll have to use SD. You can't use SDHC because they just don't work. There's for your tracks. Um, if you want your sat nav or something like that, you'll go on nav. If you want maps, you'll click the bottom right here. And then it'll bring it up there. That, there's, me, there's me maps. It, it's got like CD and stuff and telly, but you've got to have a telly tuner for that. If I have a little bit play out... On, on the on here, if you press that button, this flicks you through. That tells you how long the car's been running. That one tells us how many miles I've done since I've started the car. That one's telling us me average miles per gallon, which is 
it's bullshit really because I, I do get it's just dropped again it's just bull, it's just total bullshit um, miles an hour that's me average miles per gallon at the moment which is bullshit again because it, it should be zero that's how many miles is left in me tank and that's how long the car's been running if you want you can press it like that and that goes to that goes to mode two I don't know if you can I don't know if I can get on there if you look if you look here top left it says two if I click it again Oh, with it, with it, with it, with it, with it. There, it's back to one. Another little thing, if you press it, press it again. That one tells you, obviously, your speed rather than looking at the the miles an hour clock. You can just look at this. If you press it again, wait, where's that? There, yeah, this one. This one's pretty good. If you go to check, you go down to say engine oil. It'll check your engine oil temperature. That's a that's a pretty cool thing. I like that. If you click back, service. It'll tell you when it's due for a service. Go to chassis number, tell you your chassis number. Uh, and you want to go back. Set this for, for stuff, menu off, that just turns everything off. There you go, it turns that off. That's your, your lap time, I've never even done this, I think that's how you reset it. Yeah, that's reset. I'm not really bothered about that. Up here, like I say, that's telling us rainbow, that one's telling us me, me temperature. I think that's it. I think I've I think I've gone through everything to be honest. On here, the telephone, mine doesn't seem to work for some reason. Comes up that but I just kinda get it working. The radio, if I click on the radio, there's me there's me capital. If I click up here, go on memory. Click on there. If I go on smooth. Oof, don't like that. Hard. Anyways. Click CD, that'll put us back here. If you want, click top left, and that'll, oh no, it's source, it's source. If you click on source, you can choose what you want, either CD or MP3. When you go on CD, it'll give you the choice of all your CDs, what you've got. If you just go back, that'll take you back. Click that, and then that'll play another, another tune. Uh, but the same thing on every other VW and Audi. If you hold the key button, keep it pressed down for open it opens all your windows it would open your sunroof but I don't have a sunroof so if I hold it again hold the lock button remember to keep it pressed until they shut and there you go shut so that's it that's me that's me s3